Hey everyone, okay, so today we're going to be doing the impossible, which is winged eyeliner, or at least a variation of winged eyeliner for a hooded eye. So, what happens is, and with this technique, we're talking about a severely hooded eye, which means that there is a decent amount of skin here that is loose or has a lot of movement when you touch it. A lot of people, especially those with hooded eyes, what they want is a very fine, gorgeous thin line and that is not possible if you have a severely hooded eye because the nature of the skin makes it near impossible. So what we're going to do is a variation of a winged eye that covers some of that skin. So it's going to be more on the dramatic side but it's more on the realistic side as well because you can't make butter with a toothpick, you know, you've got to churn it. So you'll be there all day with a toothpick. So let's make a start. You're going to need a very, very fine flat brush. You can do this with a um, an actual eyeliner, but it's easier with a shadow to begin with. So one other thing before I start is, I don't know how people do it. So my camera's there, hello, and I see people set up, and then they've got a mirror and it's like level with their face so they can actually see what they're doing. Well, mine's all the way down here. So when I tilt it, I'm like, I just, I don't know how they do it. I really don't know how they do it. If you know how they do it, perhaps you could let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow from my eyeshadow palette. And what we're gonna do is make a start, if I can, with this bloody mirror. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw a very faint line on the outside corner of the eye and it has to come down right just past the end of the eye. Now I know that may sound a bit peculiar, but just bear with me. I can't see a bloody thing. So I'm gonna move this and see if that helps. It does not. Okay, so right here, place your dark eyeshadow and you wanna bring it down just a fraction, just a fraction. It's just gonna be acting as a guideline. Okay, one other thing to notice as well. So on here, on this outside corner of the eye, there can be slight discoloration or extreme discoloration depending on what's going on there. If you struggle with eyeshadow application, I suggest you conceal this area first because it can make it look distorted if you don't. I'll deal with it afterwards. Since I'm used to my own eye, I know what to do. So you've done this little line going down. The next thing I want you to do is take the edge of that line and just go out. Just pull it out to the side. Again, make so, I don't have a massively hooded eye, but what I do have is this vein that travels through it that gives the illusion that this part of the skin is a lot looser than it is. So it will, this is still a decent tutorial for me. So just bring it out where you want it. The next thing you're gonna do is connect underneath and bring it halfway in. Just bring it halfway in. Now, right here is a little area of exposed skin. You have to fill that in. So that's gotta be black. So just fill in that little corner of skin as best you can. I enjoy doing I don't actually, years and years ago, people would say, do you go out with makeup on? Now most people kind of realize that it's just for demonstration purposes. I enjoy doing the teachy side of things because I just find it interesting. And when I was learning, there was not very many reference points. So that's why I enjoy it. I'm just gonna take this out just a fraction more on this outside corner. Any mistakes we can clean up. Okay, so from this point, you wanna take this line and with your eye open, it's a straight line. And then when I close my eye, I'll have this weird kind of nook where the skin is. Every single mark here will look different on every single eye shape. Remember, you're not going around with your eyes closed, you're going around with them open. So don't worry about how that looks. So with your eye open, just fill it in until you hit lid, then look down and that's what you've got. So now on that highest point, which is here, 
just join it up as best you can. Join it up. It doesn't matter if there's a curve, it makes no difference. You're doing this with your eyes open. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this, which is dramatic. But what it does do is it deals with this problem skin here, which a lot of people have. Now, because there's different folds on different eye shapes, what you can be left with, which I am here, is this little line. Now there's a couple of things you could do. You could erase it, you could leave it because you're not gonna see it until you blink. What I'm actually gonna do is just very lightly, just bring it in slightly. That way it just gives a more graphic edge. And you see how lightly I'm going here. I'm not moving the skin, so I'm being that light. Now all you need to do is make sure that all of this, any skin, is filled in. And again, just to show you the shape on my eye. So it's got this point and then it kind of curves because that's how my eye shape looks. So I'm just gonna get rid of any excess on my brush and all I'm gonna do now is just lightly feather this in just a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure, and I get close up for this, that I've caught all bits of skin. In all truth, this would look the best with a dark black waterline. I've got something nasty in the corner of my eye. be gone okay so that is a graphic line but like I said it's dealing with this excess skin to get that ultra sharp line on a hooded eye with excess skin you just it's a horrific process it's going to take you forever don't bother and you're never going to deal with that skin issue at least this covers it so there's a couple of things we could do here now I could lighten this lid put something nice and light on it if I wanted to. I don't want to, there's no point. What I'm gonna do instead is just take my brush and just start to push some color into the lash line with a mirror a thousand miles away and join it up, honestly. If you can help me, I want my mirror here. That's where I want it, right there. But I want it down here. It's troublesome down here. It's hurtful down here. Help me. Okay, so just fill in as much as you can, as gently as you can. Now, if any look calls for amazing lashes, this would be it, it really would. So what we're gonna do now, my lovelies, is put some lashes on and this will give a much more lifted look to the eye. One other thing to think about here is that, and this goes with all eyeshadow, and I've just done a video on this. When you're pulling your eye out, which you are with a winged eyeliner look, you don't want to round the eye. So you want your lashes to move to the side. If you create these round fluffy lashes, you're creating a roundness here, but you're wanting to pull your eye out here. So somebody else's eye or your eye doesn't know where to focus. So concentrate the lashes from this point and bring them out. Okay, so what I've done is I've put some kind of more wispy sort of lashes on and I've kind of added them on that outside corner. The beauty of this is because this outside corner is so dark, the lashes kind of disappear into it. Um, and that completes your realistic winged eyeliner look, specifically tailored to those of you with more hooded eyes. One thing to worth, one thing that's kind of worth mentioning is that what can happen when you've got such a dramatic look, um, and there's a lot of dark here, with the lashes and everything, it can kind of sometimes make it look like there is shadow underneath the eye. So kind of bear that in mind, but 
all in all, this is a very kind of funky, cool look. Um, and it does deal with that issue of having excess skin on the outside corner of the eye because it really is very, very difficult to get an ultra fine winged look. And again, remember that this kind of curve that I've got going on here will look different on everyone. And you walk around with your eyes open, you blink, but it's momentarily, people aren't gonna notice it. So please don't let it concern you. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this useful and helpful, well, that's bloody wonderful. Please share the video and definitely like it if you can, because it really helps. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. Can't see a thing without my glasses. See you soon, bye-bye.